Scorpio, it's Amanda here with your June 2019 Rune Scope. This month, along with our runes, I will be using the Golden Tarot by Cat Black. Uh, then after this video, as always, be sure to join me for part two of your June reading over on my Vimeo channel. I will be pulling and interpreting one card from the Ascended Masters Oracle. This is by Doreen Virtue. That link is below in the box. And if you do like my channel, you find my videos helpful, please do subscribe and share the videos. Uh, pay it forward. Uh, with your friends and relatives on social media. Hopefully they will find them helpful as well. But let's jump into June. Let's see which runes will be cast for Scorpio. June 2019. So one of my Scorpios. I thought that was it. But no, there it is. As always, Scorpio, these are general readings. So um, you have to remember that some of the messages... Uh, will be for you, but then others that don't apply are going to be for the other Scorpios that are watching. Not all of them will be for you. Um, you can check out the video for your rising sign as well. Um, as I always mention, most times you're probably going to find that that is the one that is the uh, most accurate. But if you would like something that's only about your specific circumstances, your life and the outcomes and the people in it, you can drop me a line at my email address to set up a private session. Um, I do those on Skype. Um, yeah, just email me here. It's also below in the, in the uh, box, and we can set that up. But in general, in general, what's going on here? In the present, so for most of you, this is going to be May going into June. We've got the sun, which is beautiful. For others of you, it may be, you know, what's going on whenever you're watching this video, if you're watching it later in June. Um, but yeah, the Sun card is about recognition, promotion, graduation, achievement, being recognized for your hard work, your abilities, your gifts, your talents, um, your beauty, your attractiveness. I mean, it very well could be. Um, you know, somebody admi admiring you. Uh, it can also be a celebration of children. There could be a, a child's birthday. You, you could be recognizing one of your children if you have a, a, a Gemini or a, what are we going to do after that? Cancer, a Gemini or Cancer child. Could also be uh, news that you are going to be a father or mother. The sun has a lot of associations with uh, fertility and celebrating. Uh, the upcoming birth of a child or, or uh, one that's already taken place. Um, wow, you've got one, two, three major arcana. Big month, June, for Scorpios. But I, it, it's starting off beautifully. And um, summer actually does begin around, uh, officially, around June 21, June 20. So, you know, it does seem like maybe this goodwill is gonna extend most of the month. So I, I do think it's gonna be a good month for you. You're gonna be um, seeing that things are getting better. Dayag is saying gradually, you know, things have, things have been improving. Things have been getting better. Um, they haven't been as stale or they haven't been as, uh, difficult things are easing up um and have gradually been improving um you may have thought for a while there that the scorpio that was like oh my god are things ever going to get better yes they are um it does seem like you are celebrating something or you have cause to celebrate or you're helping someone else celebrate in uh in june maybe a lot of people maybe you're helping a lot of people celebrate in june uh the challenge at some point we got the uh, wheel of fortune so here's one of our other major arcana. Let's see what's coming up with the runes here. Well, I mean, it could be that you, you are, because um, the Wheel of Fortune as a challenge is, it's still like things are, the wheel's starting to turn. Things are going well for you, but you may want, you may feel like some people are not, that should be happy for you or not. It's kind of the feeling I'm getting. Or maybe there's something else going on. Somebody else is having a difficulty, so they're not maybe feeling like they're dealing with maybe health issues. We do have the room of uh, health and um, 
difficulties going on here with uh, that. So maybe somebody is, they're happy for you, but they're just, they're dealing with maybe a serious health issue or um, having to go see specialists and things like that. Or, um, you know, if this is a, 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 like, um, again, a wedding or um, like a baby shower or something, it could be that somebody that you were really hoping would be there. Maybe somebody quite significant in your life can't make it because of a health issue. Um, you know, for some of you, it could just be that they're just lazy <laughs> and they're like, I, I'm just not, I'm just not going to bother. And that may hurt your feelings, Scorpio. You may be like, oh, well, you know, I've come to all your things, but you can't come. You can't come here for me. Okay. That's nice. Um, somebody could be showing their true colors. You know, you may give them a little bit of business about this too, because uh, Rido is like, you know, you could be getting a text or a phone call. There could be a little bit of a snotty exchange or, you know. Um, maybe you kind of comment on, cause you know, Scorpio, you're not really one to hold back when <laughs> what you're thinking and why should you, you know? So you may kind of be like, Oh, I see how important I am to you. You may even be making a joke and they take it seriously. And maybe they, maybe they take it seriously because they know that they're, that you're right on the money. So I feel like your arrow may hit a little clo too close to home in some way here. Um, here, Scorpio, but you know, you just may be upset. I feel like you may be hurt that someone is not, uh, cause it's, it's, it's crazy. Like you've got really good energy, but then it's someone else is like putting a damper on it. Try not to let that happen. I realize that's difficult if it's someone that, you know, is important to you and, and, and you feel, you know, slighted or like, you know, why aren't you happy for me? Or why, why don't you celebrate my stuff? I come celebrate it, you know? Again, maybe you feel like this is somebody that you've supported and you're not getting that back. And um, don't let that dampen your spirits. Maybe it's time to uh, to think about whether or not this person should be um, that important to you. If, if, if they're not returning those feelings, they're not returning um, the support that you're giving them, you know? Uh, but again, I, I do think for some of you, this is just a disappointment and you actually may be worried about this person, you know, because if it's a health issue, you may be like, yeah, I'm sad they can't be here. But the bigger concern is that their health is not well. And, you know, there may be schedule conflict that comes up too. Perhaps if someone has to have like an emergency surgery or because I do have with Rido in reverse, somebody could be taken to the hospital, rushed to the hospital. I don't want to scare you. Uh, there could be an accident. Um, I am just going to kind of throw it out there, but it, but with the wheel of fortune here, it's saying someone gets very lucky. It's not as serious as it could have been. Um, but it, it is kind of like, okay, here's all this awesome stuff happening for me. And then, you know, it, it's like life can never just let you enjoy the fun stuff, right? Or the good stuff. There's always going to be this kind of like somebody either trying to, you know, throw it and put a damper on it or. I've got this person now that's in the hospital. I got to, and so you may have to reschedule something or, or you may have to feel like I got to go to the hospital and see this person. So I've got to kind of move some stuff around or I've got to figure out how I'm going to travel to see this person instead of them coming here to celebrate my promotion or my baby shower or whatever this is. Um, but for others of you, I think it could just be a worry and concern, uh, with somebody who's having some health issues and, um, you know, it's like the, all this good going on, but then there's, you know, a little bit of a, of a, of a downer here on it. Um, do your best to kind of rise above it. And, and, um, you know, just because you're enjoying your own good fortune doesn't mean you're not also concerned or that you don't care about someone else. Um, you know, you have a right to enjoy the good things in your life. Uh, you know, people sometimes, sometimes people will try to make you feel guilty about that. It's like, oh, well, I'm so glad things are going good for you. This is, you know, ebbs and flows, you know, you have, you've been on the bottom probably many times when this person's been on top and you didn't, you know, you did your best. Maybe, maybe you were thinking those same thoughts, but did you throw a damper on this person? Maybe you did. I don't know. <laughs> maybe this is karmic payback for some of you. Wheel of fortune can also be karma. But for most of you, I think that no, you supported this person. You've been there for all their stuff because I'm seeing that you're hurt. Maybe that they aren't able or willing to be there for you in the same way. The help that's coming in, we got the Knight of Coins in reverse. So let me see what's coming with these three, these three rooms here or two rooms. It's a curious, it's a curious helping energy. Um, 
This person could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This is an earth sign energy. Could be male or female in these general readings for some of you. It will be male. For others of you, it will be a female. Um, well, you know, this could be two people, two family members or two friends or two coworkers who are like going around in circles. It's like they keep going around and around and around. Meanwhile, all these good things are happening uh, for you. Um, and I think what the help is going to be is to just not get involved in that. And, and maybe not give advice to somebody who is determined to just keep trying the same thing and hoping for different results in some way. Um, because yeah, somebody is not getting a lesson and they just keep repeating and repeating and repeating. And maybe you've tried to help them before and they don't listen. So um, what's gonna help you is to kind of stay out of, stay out of it if it's between two people or, or maybe kind of resist the urge to uh, kind of tell someone or give someone advice because they're not, they're never gonna change the way that they're doing it. Um, this is also can be a jealous energy. This can be somebody who, and maybe this happens every time something good happens for you, they get jealous or they get resentful or, or um, and you're just like, well, par for the course. Like, again, with Bjork, I have earned this good fortune. I have earned this uh, blessing. I have, earned, for some of you, maybe this is somebody, if this is like a pregnancy and it's you that's pregnant, maybe this is someone else who, hasn't been able to get pregnant or for whatever reason it's never worked out for them and maybe that's maybe it's because they don't they don't take your advice maybe you've had some really good advice for them or maybe you've you know um but they they've never taken it or or um so yeah this could be someone jealous of um the fact that you're going to be a parent and they can't or that that's just not been their path um or that you have found this new awesome relationship because that could be as well. You've got Gifu on the table or this new awesome job, um, this dream job. And um, so yeah, there is, if somebody's lashing out at you that you know that they have kind of a jealous temperament or that they tend to kind of be that way with you, um, you know, I, they're just kind of saying, let it roll off. Again, don't let someone else damp, dampen your spirits. Don't so, let someone else's jealousy or bad attitude or whatever may be going on with somebody else. Um, don't let that dampen your spirits. You you deserve this, Scorpio, and I know you do because I've you know your readings have been you've had some tough readings the, the last few months. Um, actually probably about the last year is it, Scorpio and Pisces and Cancer. The water signs have really been hit hard. I, I, I would assume it's planetary, but uh, you know, I'm not an astrologer. I know enough, just enough astrology to get in trouble. That's funny. We got the Cancer card coming up next, but yeah, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio have not had an easy time of it. So, and now that your star is starting to rise, you know, the wheel, when you're on top, somebody else has got to move down below. But they've been on top this whole time, right? While you've been down here struggling and, and dealing with the hard stuff. It's your turn. It's your turn. And uh, it's kind of like, how dare they, you know, shoot off at the mouth about this or whatever. Um, or, or try to... Um, diminish your light or diminish your your achievements not cool uh what must be accepted we do have the chariot so victory overcoming obstacles defeat defeating your enemies defeating a situation defeating your adversaries um whether it's people a situation um yeah, anything that's been kind of holding you back or blocking your path, if that's coming to an end. You've got Esau. There's a there's a freeze on that activity. And that's where we've got Gifu, which is the rune of partnership, marriage, again, baby, fertility. 
Like if you're a Scorpio and you don't want to get pregnant, be super, super careful in June. Make sure your, your birth control is up to date. Um, make sure if you're a guy and you're with a girl that she's using birth control. I mean, definitely confirm it. Some people will say they are, but maybe they don't take it the way they're supposed to. Maybe they're lying. <laughs> Still though, these, this looks like if that's what happens, if you find out that you're going to be a parent, you're pretty excited about it. You look pretty, it looks like a, you're pretty joyful about it. Honestly. So I feel like for most of you, it's because you're in a committed partnership or marriage, um, that this is happening. And uh, some of you may be having the baby in cancer or getting married during, you may be planning a wedding during cancer time, which is uh, end of June, early July, um, or early to mid July. Um, yeah, a lot of things are breaking loose during the time of cancer. It starts before that, because you got it in the present, you got the sun part in the present, the kind of looking forward and, and making the plans. But then, yeah, by the time you're into cancer, man, full steam ahead. Um, that's when the things really start breaking loose. Now this can also have to do with travel, with relocation. If you're in a long distance relationship or if you are, um, yeah, you may be relocating to be, or they may be relocating so you can live together or, or get married. Um, you may be going to see someone that you used to be married to, that you broke up with, that it's been a while since you spoke because, uh, yeah, Esau indicates there was a break or a separation. You haven't really been in touch, and now you're talking again, and you're you're hanging out. Maybe you're going on a trip together, going on a little um, vacation, a honeymoon. Um, this is really cool. Um, others of you, if this is a business partnership, then this is um, something you're really passionate about. But it's also it may involve a relocation. It may involve travel. Um, you may at least have to travel to, to interview or, or speak or, or, or go to a meeting um, in order to kind of submit the deal or sign the contracts or, or what have you. But um, yeah, it could have been like, man, I, I've been looking for a job for or a new gig or a, or a new opportunity or a new partner, a new client if you run your own business. Um, I've been looking to land a big fish for a long time and uh, there's been nothing, nothing, nothing. And now bam, perfect, perfect partner, perfect client, perfect job, perfect company. Um, this is fast paced too. So it's never going to be boring. It's exciting. It's exciting. I feel like you have a lot of responsibility. Um, you know, and a lot of that, you know, many of you may be starting in July because again, we've got, this is the seventh and we are talking about the time of cancer. So yeah, maybe you find out you've got the job and it's like, you're doing all the celebrations and all of that stuff. And, but you're actually, your, your start date is, uh, is in July. And, um, but yeah, once, once July hits, it's like, yeah, I can't wait to do the July readings now. <laughs> I want to see what's going to happen. Um, and how it's how you're gonna adjust but yeah it looks like you are raring to go uh scorpio you're not intimidated at all you're ready for this and you're you're you sh this is the job for you or this is the um you're the best person to handle this client or your business is i mean this is definitely like where you're supposed to be because your outcome is the ace of wands new opportunities new um a new passion project, a new job that you are passionate about. Um, tons of energy too. This is such an energized uh, card. Um, a new person that you're passionate about. Um, it could be renewed passion too, if it is somebody coming back. But yeah, this is like, it's on. This is a very sexy card. It's a very sexy card. Um, I am going to throw out there though, that someone may be having, um, especially if you, if you are older, we've got some, uh, stuff that may be coming up that somebody may have been dealing with like erectile dysfunction or, you know, um, having problems with that, but not with you <laughs> or Scorpio. When you're with this person, if you were, have been the one experiencing that, you're not having those problems anymore. Um, so yeah, I mean, somebody could be a little bit shy about that um you know they, they could be for some of you maybe it's this earth sign maybe this is an earth sign and they're coming up in the reverse because they're like oh man this always you know this has always been happening i hope it doesn't happen with scorpio 
and it doesn't <laughs> because you've got Bjork, uh, the rune of reproduction and, um, and the ace of wands. So, um, somebody could also be making themselves vulnerable as an opening up, especially about how passionately they feel about you. Um, because you do have the rune here of, uh, yeah, vulnerability and, um, you know, uh, I will say Scorpio though, for some of you, particularly if this, you know, if this is like personal, if this is a relationship instead of like a job you're passionate about or, or a new opportunity, a new passion project that you're really into, um, if this is a person, um, this rune can kind of, you know, it can be saying like, be careful about getting involved with people who will use you. Um, you know, if you, if you kind of see red flags and, or, or you're blinded by passion, you're blinded by the physical, um, you may regret that later. Uh, particularly if this is somebody who's done this in the past, if this is a return of, of sorts or a return of someone from the past. So yeah, just don't ignore red flags. Scorpio would be my only caveat. You know me, I always gotta, I always gotta give you a little warning. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could really be quite smitten or, uh, you know, again, smitten again and, um, you know, not see the red flags that, oh, this person is still, they took advantage of me before they're probably going to do so again. Um, you know, but it doesn't mean you can't have a fling, right? So maybe this is also a card of more, more of a fling card than like a long-term stable thing. But hey, you know, nothing wrong with the fling, especially if you can kind of keep it on that level or maybe not engage as deeply until you're a little bit more sure about someone's intention, Scorpio. But it looks like a great month. Again, don't let anybody dampen your spirits. Enjoy the month of June. It looks like you've got a lot to celebrate. It looks like big changes are happening and they're all good. You're excited about all of them. But meet me over on Vimeo, like I said. Gonna shuffle the Ascended Masters. I wanna see what uh, further wisdom, clarity they can give us on uh, the messages here. That link again is below. I'll see you over there. Have a fantastic June, Scorpio. I'll see you back here next time.